folks, Vic here with a video for you to start off the week. Uh, this is February the 14th, uh, 2022. Last week, I posted a video showing how you only need to get good at trading one pattern in order to have a successful Forex trading approach. And I showed you the swing break rotation pattern, which is one of our best. It's just excellent and provides an edge, which means an edge means what? An edge means that there's a higher likelihood of one thing happening over another. That's what we're looking for. Today, uh, I'm going to show you a similar pattern. It's not the same, though. Well, there's some important differences, but it is not. This pattern has now shown up 11 times this month. Two of them from today, Monday the 14th of February, and we're only halfway through the month. Okay. And by the way, speaking of which, if you if you haven't signed up for the free webinar that I'm hosting on February the 23rd, where I'm going to show trading strategies for growing a small forex account quickly and safely, you can do so at the link in the text below this video or in the email that you receive. Okay. And remember. When you do that, I'm going to, I'm going to provide a bonus uh, for you, a trading plan template for anyone who registers for the webinar. Just register and then we'll just send that to you. Now, back to this pattern. Let's be honest and transparent about this. Patterns tend to dry up at times. Okay, they don't just show up all the time. So we, we have, I mean, we have no idea how many more of these patterns will show up this month. Uh, will there be more? Who knows? If there wasn't any, it's already been a smashing month just trading this one pattern. Right? And it's not the same one I showed in, in, in last week's video, by the way. But I tell you, the best thing you can do is just pick one and get really good at it. So here we go. Just before we look at this video, I do want to thank you guys for supporting these videos, uh, you know, by giving them the thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And it tells me that uh, you'd like to see more of these, which I'm happy to provide. So if you could give this one a thumbs up as well, that would be really appreciated and uh and do be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the lower right corner of the video. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, take a look. Okay, so the first uh, trade we can look at here, um, and these trades are both from Monday, February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So um, if you look at this pair, see, like you got to learn how to draw support resistance first and foremost. That's really, really important the way that we teach it. And this level on the weekly chart, like this, we even look at weekly charts, even though we're scalping, just because it gives you a really good idea of a possible reversal and it can help you. And especially when you see patterns set up that, that confirm the change possibly. Look at this level here. That's a, you know, a really good strong level where price bounced really, really hard here and then came back through it. Then it was resistance. Uh, up this level here and then it came back down to this level and went right through it resistance 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 and more resistance now here's where it gets interesting on the daily chart we had the same thing happening here you see this level look at across here this is like a really good level so you want to pay attention and see what how price reacts doesn't mean we're going to do anything it just means we're aware of this level now we want to see hey you know show me a pattern show me a reason to get short here so now we go down to our Entry, uh, pardon me, I'm going to go to our four hour chart first because I want to show you something else here. We were at this level here. Like you see how price rallied up and dropped and then it started bouncing against this area. It couldn't go anywhere. So this is the thing. Now you want to start to see, hey, do we have a really low risk way to get into this trade here, right? So we go down to our entry time frame. This is the one pattern that I'll use MACD on. Um, otherwise, we don't use any indicators at all, but you can use it. You don't have to have it for this. Um, it, it's just a visual thing that a lot of people like, so what the heck, use it. Um, price goes higher, MACD goes lower, and this whole setup in here, this structure is exactly what we're looking for. It's kind of similar to the swing break rotation that I showed on last week, uh, in last week's video, but it's different. Don't, they're not the same. There's some important differences, but this whole thing, these when price goes higher and then goes lower and breaks these swings, it's a very common, um, I, I should say, I'd say it's more similar to uh, head and shoulders and to a swing break rotation. And this is divergence. And our cell is very specific. And in this case, it was up at 172.70, right up into here. 15 pip risk. How nice is that? Like that's a, just a really nice, cheap way to, or inexpensive way to look at a, um, a reversal. Uh, because you can, with a low pip risk, you can trade more lots, right? So anyway, down she goes. And this is all about trade management. Uh, there is some logical levels, like, you know, when price came down to here, this is a two to one, more than a two to one. Price made it down to some other logical places down there for three to one. It was actually up much more than that. Uh, might have been close to four to one. I haven't got it measured. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that there are some logical places, and this is trade management. It's going to be different for everyone. 
you know, nobody can say, yeah, everybody got such and such a reward risk. That's not the way it works. You have to come up with your own trade management that suits you, your personality, your risk tolerance, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Great trade. That was on the uh, uh, pound, first pound Canadian dollar. Today as well, same day, this time during the New York session. What's going on? We have um, a, let me just go, let's just go look at the, um, at the top down first of all. First of all, on a weekly chart, if you look over my upper left here, this level here has been uh, an important one. Let me just bring it right up here. Because you see, when we, when we uh, uh, first broke it, went above it, didn't really do too much. And you don't know, that's the thing. You don't know what's gonna happen. But if, I, if it goes down like this and closes, and then it goes up and rejects it here, comes back out, rejects it again, okay? Now, we have to go, okay, what's going on with this? But let's go look at our daily. What's the daily telling us? Because these are bullish candles, these last two. This one, not so much. But what's the, what's the, um, the daily showing us? Well, the daily, what it had done is come back down to a level of support right here this was support look how it became resistance 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 and then it broke through and came back and retested it so you've got a bit of a conflict because on the weekly you're looking like you might be at some resistance but on the daily you've got this and these are uh, situations where you need to decide if you're going to take all the trades uh, if you're going to filter them somehow but you know we're short-term scalping personally um, I like to take them all because even if even if this, this thing keeps going down, most times, not always, but most times you can get enough of a move out of it to get your risk out and get a chance at a move because you just never know. Well, the thing is, when we came back to this level, this is this daily level, if we go down to our four-hour chart, look at this level in the four-hour chart. That's a pretty good level of resistance that got broken. It hits it here and hits it again here. And again, we don't know what's going to happen. But when we get a confirming pattern, that can be our cue to go ahead and take a trade. And let's go down to our, our entry time frame. Here it is again. The price is going lower, but look what the MACD is doing. It's going higher. And this structure, my whole, this whole circular structure in here, is what we're looking for for a divergence trade. And again, you don't have to have a MACD or any indicator on your chart at all. I'm just saying that for a lot of people, it's a, a visual. Um, it's, it's easier for them visually to see a divergence trade when they have the MACD on. Rallies up. Our entry was right down here. Actually, this happened in our um, in our chat room today. By the way, um, it was quite good. We had a um, somebody, one of our members, actually noticed it and uh, mentioned it. And then uh, I mentioned, yeah, it's also divergence because uh, he just saw it as a swing break, which is fine. Um, and great, it was really good. And so um, I, I really like it when that happens because you know, that's one of the nice things about a about a chat room like that is that you can often get. Um, a heads up from other other traders what's going on uh they don't nobody's obligated to do that but you know it just happens sometimes so the entry was down here i got in at 9064 which is new york session nice run up here this is up like two to one and then but no way do we ever ever let this become a losing trade okay because we actually as soon as you get up one to one you got to make some decisions which happened pretty quickly here and then it came all the way back down to the entry so you know, depending on your trade management, you could be stopped out for break even on this. This is rollover, this black vertical line, this dotted line. So you definitely want to be careful around there because the spreads get really, really wide. You can get stopped out super easily just because of the spread widening. Okay. So um, anyway, you know, uh, if it, it, it goes up and it comes and stops you out for break even, so what? No sweat. You take the next one just like this, win, lose, or draw. Because these trades will sometimes take off straight away for you and not look back. And of course, other times they'll just stall out like it did today. Okay, and um, so that, that's a really good um, thing. One, and one good thing to know about our trade management suggestions is that you can, like I say, very, very often uh, move your stop in a logical way so that you don't, you don't ever take a, a full loss on a trade. It doesn't always happen, but uh, it, it does quite often. So once again, what you saw here in this video is a simple, repeatable pattern. Right? Don't overcomplicate or overthink it. Um, in our chat room, I encourage our members to ask if they're in any doubt, and I will help them as soon as I'm able, and uh, and and you know make sure that you're on the right track. And that's one of the nice advantages of, of being in our service. Okay, so let's wrap it up uh, again. Um, you know, uh, thank you to everyone. Good trading to all of you for the rest of the week. And again, be sure to register 
uh, for our webinar on February the 23rd. It's completely free, uh, no obligation whatsoever, anything like that. Take care. All the best.